The metaverse revolution has already started. It won't be wrong to term it the future of online money-making. Within the metaverse, people have tons of options to generate income from their comfort zones. It is unbelievable. Today, we will talk about 10 of the weirdest ways people are making money in the metaverse. For those who are not aware of the new sensation called metaverse, here's some quick information. The metaverse is a 3D virtual world built upon the mechanisms of augmented reality. It will be a game changer in how we do things in the real world. People will be able to travel to different parts of the virtual world using a pair of AR glasses and a bunch of motion tracking gadgets. Not just that, people will also be able to run businesses, shop, and socialize with others while being in the comfort of their homes. In the coming years, the metaverse may alter the way you make income, buy, or perhaps even hang out with friends. Cryptocurrency is transforming the way people generate wealth all over the world. So here's a list of 10 weirdest ways in which people can make money in the metaverse. 10. A metaverse architect or construction worker. Metaverses are full of land that people can own. Individuals and companies that own this land usually want to build things on their land, whether just for pride or for monetization. These structures could be anything from houses, stores, malls, galleries, museums, casinos, venues, company branches, theme parks, or whatever else. Just like individuals and businesses hire freelancers to design websites on the traditional internet people often hire freelancers, architects, or construction workers. To create buildings in the metaverse, for example, DecentralandArchitects.com is a 3D design architecture studio. For the blockchain virtual world, property owners in the metaverse do not have the skills necessary to 3D design and develop on metaverse. That's where the architect come in. Their main purpose is to help entrepreneurs and companies that lack the in-house skills and are looking to subcontract. A metaverse architect can earn from a few hundred dollars up to millions per project. Each project is unique and of different scale. That's why earning is also different from project to project. For a construction of a small house in Metaverse, you will get a few hundred dollars while your earning will multiply if you are working on a bigger project. Furthermore, all payment in Metaverse are in from of NFTs and Metaverse respective cryptocurrencies. 9. Creating and Selling NFT Artworks and Designs NFTs, non-fungible tokens, make up much of the content inside Metaverses. In a Metaverse, NFTs can be anything from avatars, clothes accessories for avatars, items weapons for games, pets, vehicles, decorations, furniture, art, music, videos, entire buildings, or even plots of land. One possibility for making money is to buy an NFT and sit on it for a period of time before selling it, hopefully for a profit, as well people can sometimes earn NFTs by playing games or completing tasks in Metaverse. Another method is to invest your time in developing and creating your own NFTs for a metaverse and then sell them on that metaverse's marketplace. If you want to sell someone else's art in exchange for a share of the money, you can also set up an NFT art gallery and make money by selling someone else's work. You can also become an art broker and help metaverse customers navigate this new NFT environment. 8. Real Estate Virtual real estate has seen a massive boom Lately, with the rush for digital land seeing plots in metaverses like Decentraland, Axie Infinity, and the Sandbox selling for millions, people are using NFTs in the metaverse to buy virtual land, such as land a digital piece of real estate in the Sandbox. These virtual spaces use NFTs as opposed to physical deeds to reflect ownership of specific locations within a virtual world. In the sandbox, land comprises about 300 square feet in the game world. In Decentraland, the size changes to 50 square foot land parcels. If users hold enough plots of land, they can combine them to create a single estate. One example of that is The Secrets of Satoshi's Tea Garden, an estate on Decentraland made up of 64 separate plots of land. It sold for 1.3 million mana in 2019, about $80,000 because of its size and location. In 2021, the Metaverse Group bought an estate in Decentraland for 618,000 mana, which was equivalent to about $3.2 million at the time. Just as in the real-world location is everything in digital real estate and plots that are close to entry points 
or to places such as virtual arenas that promise virtual foot traffic tend to increase in value. 7. Investing in a specific metaverse's cryptocurrency If you believe that a country is about to go through an economic boom and a period of rapid development, then you may want to buy some of that country's currency. It's the same principle in the metaverse, except with exponentially increased volatility. Metaverses have their own economies, and most of these economies are powered by cryptocurrencies. If a metaverse were only powered by a digital currency, which is not based on a blockchain, rather than a cryptocurrency, which is based on a blockchain, then users of that metaverse would basically just be trusting the company that built that metaverse to hold onto their money for them. This would majorly deter people from investing any large amounts of money into that particular metaverse. On the other hand, when a metaverse's economy is powered by a cryptocurrency, no central authority can even withhold people's money or take the keys and run. 2021 and 2022 saw an exponential increase in the value of most major metaverse cryptocurrencies. 6. Play to earn games There's been a recent trend among metaverse games to reward cryptocurrency or NFTs to people who accomplish tasks, win against other players, or get the highest scores. There are a variety of current and up-and-coming play-to-earn games promising players economic returns in exchange for their time and attention. However, the reality is that rather than offering money for time, you'll find that most of these games are actually only offering money for money. When you cut through the complexities of their systems and economies, almost all play-to-earn games require an initial purchase, usually of an NFT in order to begin earning as well as future purchases in order to earn more. Therefore, it's more accurate to look at play-to-earn games as investments rather than as free money. 5. Bitcoin Interaction in the Metaverse Cryptocurrencies in general and Bitcoin in particular are the metaverse's money and each metaverse has its own set of tokens you can purchase. They're used for paying for everything including NFTs, virtual real estate, avatar shoes, and more. For example, Decentraland's native token MANA is in everything on Decentraland can be purchased or sold in MANA. San the Sandboxy's native token is used in another popular metaverse. We can say that Bitcoin can serve as a link between the physical and virtual worlds. It can allow us to calculate the value of digital assets in fiat currency and the returns over time. The liquidity of Bitcoin on exchanges around the world also allows investors to realize profits by selling coins and NFTs directly to buyers. 4. Tourism and Travel Last year, when travel restrictions were imposed, virtual reality excursions of ancient Greece and Egypt were popular with huge earning possibilities. The development team of the metaverse is trying to captivate visitors by reenacting historical events, for example, the American Civil War and much more. So not only will you be able to cross borders without leaving your house, but you will also be able to travel back in time. Furthermore, with organizations utilizing the metaverse for collaboration, there is a significant reduction in the need for long-distance travel, saving money and gasoline. 3. Conduct metaverse events with paid tickets This is already an extremely popular way to make money in the metaverse. Live concerts by real artists can attract massive crowds and organizers can charge users in the form of paid tickets. Warner Music has already partnered with Metaverse platform The Sandbox to create a virtual concert hall. Snoop Dogg's recently acquired Death Row Records is poised to become an NFT label, and the artist has already purchased a large block of land in the Metaverse offering additional revenue generation streams. 2. Design Users 3D Accessories those with some knowledge of 3D design can create accessories for VR gameplay. Metaverse users would want to dress their avatars with accessories like wearables, gadgets, headgear, outfits, or even weapons. One can design and sell these accessories in the marketplace, taking advantage of the design toolkits that most Metaverse platforms provide. 1. Source Sponsors for Free Events Last but not least, even if you cannot attract users to a paid event, there are sponsorship opportunities to be unlocked in the metaverse. For instance, a small business could organize a trade show with free participation for attendees, where event sponsors would pay the organization to reach new audience 
While there are an abundance of options, when it comes to making money from the metaverse, it does not necessarily mean that making money is simple. In order to make money from your investments in the metaverse, regardless of which option you choose from the list we discussed in today's video, developing smart tactics and understanding each option are much more important. Additionally, while you might find many people praising how investing in the metaverse has made them big bucks, you will also find people who have to say otherwise. Therefore, before you head off to invest your savings or passive income in the metaverse, make sure you grasp all the basics and fundamentals of the metaverse as a whole. Now that you're aware of how to make money from the metaverse, don't wait much to get started. If you enjoyed the video, please share your thoughts in the comment section. Moreover, if you are new and haven't subscribed to the channel, yet remember to subscribe to the track and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any helpful or informative daily video. Thanks for watching and best of luck.